Hey there, basic witches. Coffee here, and today we are doing the Virgo cake up. I'm actually pretty excited about this because we are actually going to learn together today. This is something I've never done. Uh, usually, with every other sign that I've worked on, I know quite a bit about them. And even though I have Virgos in my life, I don't have like too many and one that was very influential for me. I don't have like, we don't get along that well. So I feel like the things that I know about Virgo are a little skewed and I'm actually really excited to learn about this. So we're going to go over this a little bit together, learn together. And, uh, yeah, I'm actually, I'm excited. I really am. Like, I do want to say one thing, two things before we jump in. Number one, I feel like I have to repeat this every time I make a video. You are more than just your sun sign. So if you find any information out from me and you're like, that's weird because I'm this and this person gets along with me and they're this, you have a whole natal chart. <laughs> it's all of the planets, the placements, the houses. It's a lot of stuff. I've given a ton of information on my channel about it. Um, I think I might even have a playlist that's just like astrology. If not, I will make one. But please know you're more than your sun sign. So there's that. I know you're still going to give your opinions anyways, because it always happens, but there it is. And the second thing is I have three Virgos that are pretty predominant in my life. And two of them I have great relationships with, one of them not so much. And I feel like that should just go to show that you really can't base your opinion on a sign off of one or because you had one bad experience. So keep that in mind as you learn about different signs. I see a lot of, and I used to be this way when I first started this challenge, I like hated Aries people. And somewhere in there, my mind got changed because I met some really cool Aries people. So take that for what it is and recognize that all of us can get along if we try. So let's jump into Virgo. If you are a Virgo, you were born between August 23rd and September 23rd. 22nd. I actually forget about this a lot because to me, September is like Libra, but it's not because you lead into sep like September, October with Libra. So I don't know. I, I always like forget that sometimes that Virgo is September. Uh, your duality is feminine. So this is more of a feminine aspected sign. Triplicity is earth. That is, you know, the element basically. Quadruplicity is mutable, which is I think I've talked about this before. There's mutable cardinal and what the heck is the other one? Fixed. And you're always one of the three. So like for me, I'm a Taurus. I'm a fixed sign. It's harder to move me and, and change my opinion. And there's, there's a lot of different components that go into that, but that's for Taurus anyways. So this uh, Virgo is going to be a little bit more mutable just as it, just as it states mutable. Um, Virgo is reserved, modest, practical, discrimin discriminating, and industrious, analytical, painstaking, seeking to know and understand. So what I think is really interesting about this is some of that stuff I feel like falls under Sagittarius to a degree, like wanting to just know things and understand and be more logical. So I feel like Virgo and Sagittarius would either be like this or like this. But again, it all depends on a lot of different things. And just you as a person, like astrology can tell you a lot, but it's not going to tell you everything. Uh, ruling planet is Mercury. Oh my gosh, I think I just found that out, but I forgot. That makes so much sense. <laughs> Mercury, if you guys didn't know in your natal chart, is how you communicate with the world and like get your point across. So that's hilarious. Uh, ancient God of communication and commerce in astrology. Mercury rules intelligence and reasons and predispose, predisposes toward a high strung temperament. Uh, the symbol is the Virgin. A lot of people think that, um, no wait, it's not, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm thinking about Aquarius. We'll talk about Aquarius when that happens. Uh, represent, representing purity of motive, modesty, industriousness, and service of one and one's talents toward, excuse me, towards helping others. Totally see that from every Virgo I know. The Virgin is usually pictured holding a, a sheaf of wheat and symbolizes the utilization of ideas and skills to benefit, nourish the world. That's actually beautiful. And I see that. I see how that could be really nourishing for the world. Sorry, I really am learning as we're going. So you're going to hear me like stop and say things at every point. Uh, glyph, the glyph, it's basically like the symbol for Virgo. It looks like an M with a little like fish almost like the, I don't, it's not a fish, but that's what it looks like, like a simple drawn fish. I don't know. 
Uh, the symbol represents a virgin, for it is a picture graph of the human reproductive organs closed and untouched. I didn't know that. That's interesting. Um, in symbolic terms, the glyph is a straight line connected to two curved lines, one of which is crossed. This represents wisdom tied to feeling and emotions and crossed by practicality. Whoa, that is some deep level business. I had no idea. That's fascinating to me. Dominant keyword is I analyze. I did know that. Virgos are extremely analytical, critical of others and their self. So uh, polarity is Pisces. Oh my gosh, this is even more fascinating to me. I don't know a lot about Pisces. I've told you guys this. So maybe we're about to learn something together too. Uh, Virgo is the sign of work and self-improvement. Its natives are perfectionists who dissect dissect facts in order to find the truth and obtain all the information available. Pisces Virgo's opposite sign is the sign of illusion and self-deception. Pisceans are prone to dreaminess, imagination, vagueness, self-delusion, and escapism. Interesting. I could see why they would be each other's polarity. Uh, part of the body ruled by Virgo is the nervous system and the intestines. Oh, Virgoans, Virgoans, is that seriously how we're going to say that? Okay. Are prone to illness caused by stress and nervous tension. They are particularly susceptible to ulcers. Ooh, that's scary. Um, lucky day is Wednesday. That's funny because I'm pretty sure I was born on a Wednesday and like Virgo has some strong connection to me. So that's interesting. Uh, lucky numbers are five and three magical birthstone is Sapphire brings tranquility of mind and protects against illness and injury while traveling. Special colors are Navy blue, gray, classic colors of refinement and taste. I've talked to you guys about this already and cities are Paris, Boston, Heidelberg. I'm not sure how to say that. And I'm sorry. And Strasbourg. I'm probably pronouncing those all wrong. Countries are Turkey, Greece, uh, Crete, West Indies. I hope that's right. Mm. Flowers morning. I'm, I'm uncultured. Okay. <laughs> um, I traveled overseas for like the first time last year at the end of last year. Uh, flowers, morning glory and a pansy trees, nut bearing trees. Metal is mercury. Obviously animals ruled by Virgo are small domestic pets. We've talked about this, how Virgos are very animal inclined and animals love them and they love animals. Danger Virgo people sometimes arouse anger and violence in others because of their tendency to interfere their crucial tongues and their unemotional attitudes. <sighs> Gotta tell you, <laughs> I see how accurate that is. Um, but no, like I said, I've had different experiences with different Virgos. So I see all of that to a degree, but also like not so much. This is why it's so important to look at your natal chart, guys. Make sure you check that out down below. I always leave a link to astroseek.com. You can look at it for free. You do have to do a lot of reading to understand. Like nobody's going to sit there and read it for you, but it's, it's some interesting stuff. But anyways, I hope you guys liked the cake up. I'm really excited to have this Virgo child and actually get to spend more time with the new generation of kids that are coming in. I feel like we've been very focused on like we did Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer. And now we're going to be at a point where we have so many more, like we have the next set of like four elements coming in in terms of the kids. So we're going to have Libra and that doesn't complete it. We'll end up having Libra and then Scorpio. And that will be like our next set of like earth or er, er, fire, earth, air, water. So I'm excited to get to see what this whole like next gen of, to me, it's like a whole generation of kids in a way. Uh, I'm excited to see what this whole next gen has in store for us. And uh, please, you guys, if you love the content, make sure that you follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm at coffee YT and over on Twitch where I stream at least once a week, or I try to, I'm not always the best at that links down below. And also, I also have a, also, I also really, I have a secondary brand that is called Cozy Kale. It's got a website. There's an Instagram, a Twitter, and a podcast coming out at the end of this month, as well as, did I say YouTube channel? I don't know. All of those things. It's all about like lifestyle and witchiness and veganism and like all this fun stuff that I just am super interested in that's not gaming. Uh, so all of that. And then also, of course, as always, I have a podcast that I run with my twin flame. It's called Twin Flames. I hope you will give it a listen. It's available currently on 10 different platforms. Uh, we talk a lot about self 
self-improvement, self-development, uh, different things like that. Just kind of how to live your best life. So I hope that you will give that a listen and let us know how you like it. If you do all of that and more in the description bar down below, and I will see you guys on Friday, I think for the next video, this is coffee signing off. Bye you guys.